of sewing at the tailored fit. And yes, it's a little bit loud out here, but we're outside showing you that we have a huge parking lot. A lot of people don't realize that we do have a large parking lot because they haven't been here yet. You need to come. Our shop is at www.universityofsewing.com and we have this, if you've not been here, I wanted to show you our business. We have sewing is, what's wrong? What is, what is wrong? It says it's trying to reconnect. Are we connected or not? Yes. So the University of Sewing is the educational arm of my business, the Tailored Fit. And the Tailored Fit for a long time has been, for the last 19 years, has been a custom sewing alteration tailoring shop. Well, three years ago, we opened up the University of Sewing. So come on in and let me show you what we have. We're at 611 West 11th Street in Bloomington. And this is our shop. So when you come in, basically there's two directions you can go. You can either go straight if you need alterations and tailoring, or you can come in here, which is what I wanted to show you, was the University of Sewing. One of the things that we really pride ourselves on is because we've been professional seamstresses and sewers for a long time, we have a lot of knowledge that we've just gained from doing all this work. And I wanted to share that with my friends and those people who love to sew because I think that we have something valuable to offer. When you walk in, the first thing that you're gonna see is that we offer a wide selection of needles. I'm a huge proponent of having the proper tool to do the job. And one of the least inexpensive ways to keep your sewing stress-free and without problems is using the proper needle for the proper job. And if you are working on a project and you're not sure which needle works, it turns out we can answer that question very easily for you. We work on all kinds of fabrics, all kinds of different projects, and we generally know what needs to be done or we know where to find it, and we can help you. Over here, I wanted to show you one of the things that we, fo we focus on, probably more than a lot of your quilt shops, is we do a lot of clothing here. So probably 50% of what we have in our shop is clothing fabric. But it turns out the nice thing about our quilting fabric is a lot of it you can turn into clothes. This particular pattern, the Ava Tie Top by Izzy and Ivy, is a wonderful example of how you can use quilting cottons to make beautiful little girls' dresses. This pattern goes from lovely little doll size all the way up from 2T to size 14. So if you buy this, you can make this year after year for that little granddaughter or your daughter and she'll be able to wear it every year as long as she likes it, I guess, so. In this part of our shop, we have the Bernina sewing machine area, and what we have on the wall here is a lot of your feet and accessories. And we try to keep all the current feet and accessories, but we also can order things for the older models, so please don't hesitate to ask us we're happy to order things for you. It's never a problem. And I don't care where you live, ordering accessories, I can send them to you anywhere. So we can't send Bernie and sewing machines anywhere, but I can send you accessories anywhere in the country. So please don't hesitate. Just get in touch with us and we will happily do that for you. If you look on the walls over here, what you will see is that we carry Burnett sewing machines we carry Bernina's sewing machines and sergers. We have the sergers and overlockers and we have those and we know how to use them and we know how to sew on them because we use them every day. So if you are getting ready to start with clothing or you are doing clothing and you don't own a serger, come in, see us. We can do a lot of work, um, do a demo for you, show you how you would use that serger. It's really fun. The other thing that we have that you may not know because this is a fairly recent addition. We've got the Q20 and we have long arms. So we have a long arm quilting machine here. So we have the Q24 and the Q20. The Q20 is your sit down version. And in the near future, we're gonna have the new Bernina sit down version, which is the Q16. So look for that coming up. In here, 
again, like I said, this is kind of where we have our Berninas, but wanted to point out this wall right here. And this is some really neat trims. A lot of these are really unusual. For those of you who do clothing, you know Petersham is a hard thing to find. Well, we carry it all the way from this tiny little trim here, which is less than a half an inch, all the way up to ones that are an inch wide. The wonderful thing about Petersham is that you can use your iron and steam it and shape it to the shapes you want. So it makes a wonderful trim or a wonderful stability for places in your clothing. And we do a lot of couture type of clothing, so we can show you how to do that. We also carry some cotton sateen ribbon. We carry the uh, hook and eye tape. It comes in white, black, and our cream. We also have a nice selection of elastic. We have a variety of different things. We have fold over elastic and we have mask elastic. And we have plenty of it here right now. So if you're needing that, we've got it. When you come over to this part of our, our shop, we have the sulky petites. Sulky petites are actually a decorative thread. They're a 12 weight. They're only $1.69 and they come in every color of the rainbow, including a lot of variety of variegated threads. So if you're looking for something decorative to either do by hand or by machine, you've got all those decorative stitches, use them. So we have thread that will work for that. And they fit into a size 12 needle. So that's really nice. Um, that's your sewing machine needle. So over here, we have the new 850 air locking serger from Bernina. Now, I had someone come in yesterday and they said it looks like a sewing machine. It doesn't even look like a serger. Well, Bernina, as always, designs them beautifully and has them where they make a lot of sense. This machine is so easy to thread. I have a video online that you can see on YouTube. We have a YouTube station if you didn't know that. And that is at Margaret Fetty at the University of Sewing at the Tailored Fit. So if you are looking for the YouTube station, that's where you'll find it. And so this is demonstrated multiple times by our shop. So you can see how that works. But literally you press on a foot control and that's all there is to it. It's amazing. So over here, I don't want to pass up our... 570 and our 770 because they are really wonderful sewing machines and see this beautiful koala table it's sitting in you buy the machine you get the best deal in the world on your table so come in and see us and we can make sure that you get that great deal over here we have our 770 and this one is in a horn table this table is very unique in that this has a hydraulic lift. You can just push this table down. The machine goes into the bottom part here. You can close up the front. No kids or grandkids are gonna get into your sewing machine. It's very slick. So come on in. We got more to show you. <laughs> this is the main part of the University of Sewing. In here, we have clothing fabric, we have patterns for clothes, we have quilting fabric, and I'm gonna walk you around a little bit so you can see what we have. So, over here, we have some Ulfa bats. I try to purchase the best quality tools that are gonna last you for a while, and I have not find, found any rotary cutter mat that works better than Ulfa for having to deal with long time use and really being able to put up with abuse. We have a professional shop here. We do a lot of cutting on our rotary cutter mats. I actually cut my clothes out on a rotary cutter mat, but I have the Ulfa mats last so much longer and they are so much better quality. I would highly recommend spend a little bit of extra money. It's not a big difference when you jump up in those big size mats they are much better quality than what else is out on the market. We carry Wyndham, RJR, we carry Anover, we carry Alexander Henry, we carry a lot of really good quality cottons. And those cottons, 
I try to make sure that when I pick out these fabrics that they will work both for clothes and for quilts. And so I think you're going to see that we try to pick bright and cheerful colors and happy things because that's kind of, that's just, that makes me feel good. And I hope it will make you feel good too. We carry a, actually a really unusual and very unique selection of fabrics um, for clothing. These right here are burnouts from India. These fabrics right here are rayons. These are from Stoff. Stoff also makes a line of knits, but there's, this is their rayons, and these rayons are amazing. They're super soft, and they're, the prints on them are really lovely. We have linen. We have a whole section of Japanese fabric, which I don't think you're going to find in too many places, and we've got a bunch more coming in. So the Japanese fabrics are really unique. A lot of them are double-sided, and they are just amazing. I have a top I'll show you in a little bit that is made out of this fabric and it's just so pretty because I made the top so it was reversible. They have most of these Japanese fabrics are a hundred percent cotton but there are a couple we have that aren't so when you come in we can talk about that and, and help you find that or if you go on our online shop at universityofsewing.com You'll find all these fabrics. Just put in Japanese and you'll find all the Japanese fabrics. We also carry a nice group of cotton lawn. These are our cotton lawn. These are all done by uh, RJR. And aren't they beautiful? Just one prettier than the next. They make a great summer top. They're actually not really see-through except for the cream, maybe a little bit. Um, so they make great summer tops. These are a couple of uh, color shot cottons that are made by Kaufman, and these are wonderful for a summer top or a pair of like a lightweight skirt. You might want to line this though. It converges on almost being transparent. On the bottom of our rack over here, we have a lovely group of Indian ecot fabrics, and uh, there's one more burnout down here on the bottom. So those e cup fabrics are great weight. They're a medium weight. They're going to work better for a jacket or something like that. Maybe a pair of slacks would work out of them. They wash up great. They don't shrink. Um, I just did. <laughs> so um, we also have a jacket, a kimono jacket. This kimono jacket, we have it on our website. Again, that's universityofsewing.com. And... It's just spelled like it sounds. Uh, this particular pattern is from the Indigo Junction people, and we use the Japanese fabric around the neckline and on the cuffs. And then the rest of it is done with a African tie-dye fabric. One of the unique things about what we carry is along with regular yardage, like you would expect, we occasionally get in pieces that are from different places around the world. And one of the things we've got right now are some really amazing fabrics from Africa. So I will show you some of those. So coat, notice this is made out of wool melton. Lined, has a beautiful woven tweed fabric in it. And this is one of the things that we carry is a wide variety of uh, coating fabric in wool. See this jacket? Usually once or twice a year we go ahead and do that coat pattern as a jacket pattern for people to learn how to do tailoring. And I love to make coats. So it's something I have a lot of fun with and I think that you will enjoy it too. So coming over here, this over on the left is kind of, this is all of our clothing fabric. So this group, pretty much up to right here, well, excuse me, right to there, those are all linens or linen blends. And then below are linens. And then we go on and these, these three fabrics right here, this is a really neat fabric. These are 100% cotton, but they are, it's the coolest thing. Look at this, they're double-sided. 
Look how beautiful that is. This is that company stuff again from Denmark. They have some of the neatest stuff. Um, we have their knits also, and those are amazing. We have shirtings, gauze fabric, and then I was telling you how we have all of these wools. Well, the wools start right here and they go both up and down and look at all those wools. And see, there's that plaid I was showing you earlier from inside the coat. And we have coating fabric here along with things that are perfectly wonderful for making a sports coat or a beautiful blazer or how about a jumper or a wonderful skirt. These, would, there's a wonderful group of them. And look at this, this is a double-sided coating fabric that we have. And again, you can use both sides. This is just amazing. It feels so wonderful. And so, I don't know if you noticed the ones in the corner here. You probably went, what are those? I would have. <laughs> so these turn out to be, these turn out to be uh, Indian sari fabric. They're five yards a piece. They've got, wonderful variety of color. These are one of a kind. They're vintage. They come as is. They're just absolutely amazing. They have so much going on in them. There's just all kinds of different things. Let's see if I can try to do this again. I tried to show somebody this the other day and I got it all mixed up. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And look at this one. They're gorgeous. So we have those and I told you about the wall of patterns for clothing. Those turn out to be really just a great group of independent pattern companies. We have Indigo Junction. We have Green Line Studio. We have Closet Case Patterns. We have Friday Pattern Company. The great thing about this, oh, and the sewing workshop, we have a lot of the sewing workshop. The great thing about these patterns tends to be they do a much better job at how to go ahead and sew these garments. And that's why I like the independent pattern companies. This side of the world is our quilting world and the quilting fabrics that we have. So I have to tell you something about myself. I don't know if you noticed this particular piece. It's a really cool uh, apron and it's got Chinese dragons on it. You guys don't know me probably, but I love dragons. I wore my dragon today. It's a friend of mine, Tim Terry. He makes these. They're very cool. And if you come in our shop, you will find out there's dragon fabric here. I have this that has, if you like dragons, I have some wonderful dragon fabric. We also have some really cool ones over here. We also have fabrics with unicorns. We have some that looks like, uh, the, is it cow or is it horse? There's a horse thing in there somewhere I'm thinking of. And then we carry wonderful fun stuff for the kids. We have our Avengers fabric. Now, I don't just carry that kind of fabric. I have a lot of very lovely, beautiful fabrics here that are just florals, or they have names printed on them. People like the fabric with the words on them. We've got them in several different colors. We have got fabrics from a lot of wonderful companies, and I always try washing and drying the fabrics. So if you are wondering if this fabric is going to be good for your project, if you're wondering if you've never bought, say, you've never bought an RJR fabric before, you've never bought an Alexander Henry, and so you want to know, is it going to wash and dry? Do I have to be concerned about shrinkage? Well, my experience has been with at least those two particular companies. Their fabrics don't shrink and they don't bleed. So I've been really pleased with that. Um, we carry... This whole line from Andover it is called D, it's called un, it's called declassified. And look at this. Now, my dad was a physics professor, 
And so anything science related or physics related, or if it has something to do with astronomy, I tend to like that kind of thing. And so this I thought spoke to that part of my nature. And we've had a lot of people, actually this is one, I'm down to hardly anything on it because we've had one of our lovely customers, she actually made a skirt out of this. It was really fun. And so we've had a lot of people who have done great things with these fabrics. Down below, more RJR. And I don't know if any of you saw the Aloha dress that I made for my granddaughter, but we used that butterfly Aloha for the Aloha dress. So uh, that was really fun. As we go around here, our book collection, we actually have an entire group of books just for teaching kids how to sew. And we're going to work on, for the next week or so, we're going to put together some stuff for you next week to show you all the things that we've got for helping teaching your kids how to sew. Um, and that's whether it's your grandchildren or it's your children directly. But the really nice thing is, is that they've got a group of uh, books. One shows you, starts you off with hand sewing, another one goes into machine sewing, and then one's even about fashion design and quilting. So that's really fun. This area right here, we have a lot of different quilting fabrics, fat, squ fat quarters, squares. And then wrapping around this direction, we have some more samples to show you. Over here, there is a pair of pants. Again, another indigo junction pattern. It is really nice, it's simple. It's a elastic waist pant and it's nice and loose. You can make it out of a knit, you can make it out of a woven. It would make up in a lot of things really, really be lovely. This particular, this particular pattern is the flat iron coat pattern by Sewing Workshop. Turns out that this makes up very nicely in a knit or it could be a woven. And this particular fabric is a panel and it's Italian. So we have this wonderful Italian fabric in here that you can, it's, this is just, if you notice the darks and the lights, the panel's really cool. On this wall, we have mostly what I would call blenders with the exception of our Australian fabric. We have a little group of Australian fabric. We've almost sold out of it, but we're getting more. They say that it was supposed to come in in August and I'm hopeful by the end of the month we might have some more of that. Up at the top level of this is a lot of beautiful batik fabrics. And your batik fabrics, as you all know, they make great blenders and they also work really well for masks. So we have all the mask supplies, so if you need that, again, I'm gonna mention our website one more time. That's gonna be your universityofsewing.com and we're going to talk about that coupon in just a little bit. I told you guys all when you watch this that I was going to give you a special coupon to use on our website universityofsewing.com or you can use it in-house because it's going to be good for a week. So you want if you aren't watching this in live time and you go back and watch it in a little bit you will still be able to use that coupon. So we have a great group of solids in here. Um, Again, these are RJRs. Uh, these are called Cotton Supreme. And the thing I love about the RJR Cotton Supremes, number one, they're very reasonably priced. They're only $7.50 a yard. And the other thing I love about them is if you wash them and dry them and don't put them in with like 7,000 things, if you pull that out of the dryer, you're not gonna have a lot of ironing to do. They, this RJR cotton would make a great lining in a lot of things. Like if you're making a skirt, it'd be a great lining in a skirt. I'm not particularly fond of polyester. Um, it has its place and there's some nice polyesters now. And I do even have some in the shop, but when I want something against my skin, if I can do something that's a natural fiber, I prefer that. Remember I told you I was gonna show you something made out of that Japanese fabric? That's this. This is a totally reversible top. And this top was made up 
so that you could wear both directions. So I finished it in such a way that this, I can wear it this side too. And I just really love that fabric. It's wonderful. I will tell you, I did wash and dry this fabric because I wanted to make sure if it was gonna shrink, it shrunk. It shrunk actually a lot. I think if I were to do this again, I would probably wash it in cold water and line dry it. And it's 100% cotton. So actually now, I, since I washed it and dried it, I'm not terribly worried about it at this point. So it's gonna be fine. But I think I might have chose to do that a little bit different with how much shrinkage it had. We set these all out here because I wanted you to see something pretty wonderful. Remember those horrible rayons from the 80s? I remember, I'm old enough. Maybe you're not old enough to remember, but they were horrible. You had to dry clean them. They bled on, if you had a, something with white and a dark fabric, the dark fabric always bled onto the light fabric. It was heinous. And they just didn't feel nice. They felt kind of awful. And if you remember the stuff from the 50s, it was pretty bad too, because the minute you got any age to it, it's just started crumbling. It wasn't a real good fabric, but something happened. I don't know where the fabric manufacturers came up with this, but we have now the most wonderful rayons ever. In fact, the top I'm wearing today is made out of rayon. This is a batik rayon. Um, we've got some rolls over on the wall that we're gonna show you here in just a little bit. And that came from this. And this top I have washed at least 30 times. And it has just gotten softer and nicer every single time I have gone ahead and washed it. I'm thrilled with this fabric. So we have batik rayons and we have some print rayons. The print rayons are all from RJR um, and they're just gorgeous. They are nice and lightweight. They feel great in the summertime. They don't make you feel hot or sticky. They drape. Look at the draping they do. They are just amazing. This particular jacket is our little something jacket and that is I mean the pattern is gorgeous it turns out beautiful it's a very simple jacket it's not lined there's not a lot of heavy duty work in this we did serge our edges and we when we put it together we searched those also um, so again a great place for your serger if you're not using it enough, I'm going to try to encourage you into clothes. We have some patterns. I was thinking this tunic top pattern would also work really nice for this gathered back top and tunic. It would be beautiful in these rayons. We have this wonderful pattern called Modern Medley Top and Tunic. Notice that these aren't gonna take a ton of fitting in, that you will not have to do a bunch of fitting to make these look good on you. And the thing is with using this drapey fabric, it's gonna look much more flattering. Then Cashmere makes this wonderful tank. Again, it would be just lovely in these rayons. So let's go ahead and take a little bit more of a tour of the shop. We have some really cool bag patterns and we have some kits. And I mentioned the kits because this is a really nice kit and an easy kit for beginner sewers. These are pillowcases, they're really adorable and this would make a great present for some lovely child you know. We carry Isacore thread, we carry YLI woolly nylon. Um, and I have a lot of it and that right here, this woolly nylon. You might wonder, what would you use woolly nylon for? And a lot of places will say it's to, it's to do decorative stitching on your serger. Well, of course you can do that. But the other thing you can do with your woolly nylon, and I teach in my knit classes, is if you wind the knit fabric onto your bobbin and you use your lightning bolt stitch, and I'll show you that at some point in time in one of these videos if you're not familiar with what that is. That will make you a very stretchy stitch for your sewing machine. And then you can make your knit close. 
So, because we're going to be talking about knits here just in a second, because I've got some wonderful things to show you. But I want to show you these African fabrics first. These are tie-dyed African fabrics. These are three-yard pieces. These were made in Mali. We have three of them. This is the kind of thing that is really hard to see without you being in person, but if this is, this is appealing to you, this kind of reminds me, it's a very much like a denim. And this, I showed it already. Um, so this is something that when you use this fabric, you can use it for any kind of like medium weight. You're gonna think jacket, you're gonna think pants, or you could just finish the edges and make this a really cool bedspread. This would be really cool like that. Um, but if you're interested in these fabrics as I go through, I'm gonna show you a couple of other ones we have. I will be happy to lay these out, photograph them for you, and we can talk about it on the phone because there's a lot more to this that I want you to know about. They're so interesting and they're so much fun. And I want you to see the whole piece and it's really hard to display a piece that's three yards long. I can't do that very well. These pieces right over here, to the right of those are a little bit smaller. These tend to be about 60 by 80. We, as far as we can figure out, this is hand printed and I believe it is rayon. It is hand woven, obviously. It is amazing. It feels really soft. It is this gorgeous kind of gold with the brown print on it. This one, these are all, by the way, these are all from Africa. This one's hand printed. They've machine sewed strips together and this is a pretty big piece. Again, it's probably about 60 by 80, maybe a little bit smaller than that. This one is so unique. I just, I'm fascinated by it. They have woven it so that it'll have these natural little holes in it so anything you put behind it would be visible. And it is a really interesting piece. It's 70 by 60. So any of these things that you see, if you wanna hear more about them, please let me know. Our phone number is 812-323-2665. And we can help you find I mean, any of this stuff like the uh, Indian sari fabric, we would photograph it for you, talk to you about it, and let you know what it would take to get it to you. So if you're not doing any in-person shopping right now, or you're not, maybe close by. So let's walk around this way, and I'm gonna introduce you to some of the really cool knits we have. Our knits, these five fabrics right here, are from Indonesia. And this makes up into a really beautiful anything. I mean, they wash up nice. They're 72 inches wide, which is really crazy. So these are really beautiful. And I've actually got a top I'll show you that is made out of this fabric. You saw the jacket. This is that Italian knit that I was telling you about that's a panel and see how it's got this really interesting part of the knit and then we wrap around into this part of the knit. Very cool stuff. This is a Italian knit also. It's a double knit. It has a nice, it's not gonna cling to your body. It has nice drape, but it is also a good weight. So if you wanted to make a dress out of that, that'd be really super. We have some linen knits that are very thin and sheer. We've got some novelty knits. Below, we talked about the company Stop from Denmark. Now I'm showing you some of their knits. This is some of the knits that they make. They make some children's knits and they make adult knits. And so we actually have probably about 30 of their bolts of fabric. So it's a nice selection. Uh, that Indonesian knit made up into a top, did that, did that not turn out beautiful? I'm really pleased with that. So here's our stock knits. This is Pamela's patterns with the peplum on it. The nice thing about the knit patterns that we have is that um, we carry a lot of Pamela's patterns and Pamela uh, is the, her, I'm trying to think of her last name, I'm doing bad on here. 
but she actually does wonderful fitting stuff for those of us who have gotten to a certain age. She moves the shoulder line a little bit forward. She tends to bring the shoulders in just a little bit. She puts darts in her patterns or she has them where they don't have darts on them. And they're a personal favorite of mine. I'm really thrilled with them. These fabrics right through here, almost all of them are stock knits. And the majority of the stock knits that we carry are 95% cotton and 5% lycra. We carry a lot of other things in here, but we're kind of getting to the end of where I wanted to be time-wise. And so I have to have something the next time I do this, right? So we're gonna show you the kits that we just put together. Uh, let's take one quick browse around to show everybody those. These are the rayon batiks that, like with the top I have on, we have them. They're 45 inches wide. They're only $13.50 a yard. And you saw how pretty this top came out. This is a wonderful fabric. Going ahead and sewing on these rayons. The only thing I think I want to tell you about that just real quick, use a size 10 Microtex needle use either a straight stitch plate or use your walking foot and I think you'll have really good luck sewing them. They sew like anything else after that. So over here, we have got a bunch of different kits I put out for you to see. And these kits are part of that. Remember we've been talking about a coupon for you guys today. Well, this is what I wanted to tell you about. We have a great, great deal for you. And I'm gonna show you these kits and then I'm gonna tell you what the coupon's gonna be. So we have some wonderful, quick, easy things for you to do in a kit. This is called the Sweet Pea Pods. In each one of our kits, we have enough fabric, enough zippers, thread, and the base, either it's a fleece or it's a uh, foam that you can use in these. And we have either one of them in here. And these make up a three by six little bag that can either be a wristlet or it can be a key, you can add your keychain onto it. But the really cool thing is you can store in here any of the things that you would like. And we have this beautiful group of declassified fabrics with this. And we have a variety of other ones that come in here. And you can see those on our online shop. But this makes four bags. And like I said, it has absolutely everything you need to create this pattern. And it's only $16.99. This particular project and kit group is called Project Bags 2.0 by Annie.com. And if you guys know anything about Annie, Annie does all kinds of bags and really cute stuff. It's adorable. And in this particular package, we have enough that you can make four zipper bags in all the different sizes. It comes with all your zippers. It comes with everything you need to do this. And this group of fabric, Check out this, how beautiful this little Parisian fabric is and the wonderful fabrics that we have so you can have four different bags made out from this kit. This kit's only $22. There, then we have that same idea made up with kids' bags in mind. You probably have some kids that, you know, they need to store their school supplies or something like that. And this would be really fun with the adventure fabric and the complimentary fabrics to go with it. And then we have a group of RJR fabrics. This is their hopscotch line, some cotton and steel, some really fun stuff that they've got. And you can make up those four bags out of that. And those are all the Annie project bag number two. The last one I wanted to tell you about is our Ferris bag. Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm out going ahead and doing maybe some traveling, going to see a music thing, I am really liking my belt bag. And the belt bags I see out there, a lot of times they're not very pretty. They don't really have too much to them. Well, this is a pattern to make your own belt bag. So in here, we have, look at these gorgeous fabrics. Look how beautiful those are. And these are a canvas and a lining material. And then we've got the gold hardware to go with it. And aren't you going to be styling with the nicest belt bag of anybody? So... We've got four of those available. 
one done with a awesome mushroom print that RJR just came out with. I am really liking this print. This is so much fun. It has beautiful little mushrooms on it. And it's kind of not quite black. It's more, I would say, a charcoal. So that one's really cool. And then we have another RJR fabric. And again, these are all for the Ferris belt bag. And then look at this one. How about that? Isn't that fun? That is a wonderful fabric. It's called the English Garden. It's just such a beautiful fabric. So I told you I was going to tell you about what this wonderful coupon is. Well, we are going to offer just for the following week, and you only get one of these. It's limited to one per customer. You can buy any one of our kits that are already made up and you'll get them for 50% off. Can't do much better than that, can I? So kit 820 is what you need to use to use that coupon, kit 820. And we will put that in the notes below on the Facebook Live. But we really do appreciate you watching us today and we hope that this was fun for you to see what we have in our shop. There's so much more I didn't show you. We'll do it another time, I promise. We're planning on doing these Facebook Lives every Friday at 9.30 in the morning. Sometimes it'll be me, sometimes it won't. Um, on the second Friday of each month, we're gonna have Heather Alexander, our long arm quilter, and she's gonna show you something about our long arm Q24 each week that she's on. And like I said, that'll be just once a month on the second Friday of each month. So I hope you'll tune in again. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks a lot for joining us, and thanks for liking us. And don't forget, we have a YouTube channel. And we'll see you soon. Thanks a lot.